Hi everyone and welcome back. Now today is going to be the next episode of Nishijo, which will be episode 11. And um, it couldn't come at a better time because right now I need something puerile and just fun and lighthearted. Because, uh, you know, life gets in the way. And uh, yeah, because everyone loves last minute fucking deadlines for work. But... None of you are here to listen to me grumble and moan about my own bullshit existence. You want to watch this as well. So, let's get into it. Stand up. Helvetica standard is always going to be these little cutaways which mean nothing. Why are animals being forced to pay rent? <laughs> yeah, I don't think they give In real life, you won't get away with it. But then again, this is just stupid. And she's. Just... Hang on, hang on, hang on. So she's trying to pay it back, which is good. But how much was that? I saw the first... That's f five... That's five yen. Wasn't it 60,000? <laughs> Just a small bit to go. Yeah. I'm guessing that was a, a joke about the whole Sparrow Tears... And she's a bird. If there's deeper meaning in it, let me know. Have we seen that guy with the top hat yet? Does the professor always have to be so carefree, I guess would be the right word. I'd quite like to know how she managed to create uh, Nano. If she's con constantly distracted and looking for snacks. We haven't seen much about those two recently either. Oh, I finally get the baseball being held in chopsticks now. So the intro is slowly getting explained. Is this... Whenever it's night time, it's usually her making some noise and then getting beaten. <laughs> so, just like in class, she's not doing too well. I doubt she's going to be doing that. And probably every test before. E yeah, you're not a winner. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't really help. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, she wouldn't. Somehow, I don't think she's kidding. Yeah, bye. Um, you've got to love it when they introduce English wording and it just doesn't really make sense in con... Well, it, it makes sense in context, just not grammar-wise. Um, okay. <laughs> 
So in 10 hours, you're probably going to get about two minutes of studying done, knowing her. And actually get stuff done. Um, this is quite poignant, despite probably being completely irrelevant. I wasn't expecting that, but, um... Yeah, I was about to say, is, is it got anything to do with her studying? Uh, polished aluminium balls? Oh! <laughs> His smile! Not the stupid craze that was around. Yeah. Yes. Uh, st stop going off on a tangent. This isn't a good way to study. Okay, I might have misunderstood it. She's not actually doing it. Right, okay. Although, no, tangent. Hmm. See, it seems like she's doing it right, but it's all just... Yeah. Is she going to try and make herself ill? Oh, yeah. She's going to give herself... Uh... Is she getting a bath of ice? Yeah, she's going to give herself hypothermia. And this isn't exactly how you catch a cold, but... Um... Being cold isn't the main contributing factor of being ill. Probably helps, though. And is her mother going to find out? Oh, okay. And after going through all of that... All that suffering. <laughs> Are any cars going to come at all? Probably not. Yeah, it takes longer than a few hours. Yeah, she grabbed the match. Like, 800? 800. Yeah, that would kill you. I got the 8 part right. I just went f far too high. <laughs> Don't know why I said 800, because, you know, that was just stupid. Oh, yes, that dude. Who's going to join the club? Don't tell me that guy actually has a helicopter. Wait, is this one? Wait, is he actually... So we've got the guy who pretends to be like higher class than he is, but then you got this kid who tries to act and have a normal life and he's fucking loaded. <laughs> so 
So he's upset because he can't piss off the principal. Or scare him, at least. Hmm. But you can't afford it? Oh. <laughs> Probably worse. Oh, only for a hundred views. Ah, oh, poor guy. Nothing's going right for him. My life seems quite good in comparison. Although it did start off with him trying to be a dick, so... <laughs> oh. Okay. Eva. So I'm. Oh god, it just keeps going deeper. So he's an insomniac as well. Of course. Oh Christ. How far down the rabbit hole are we gonna go here? <laughs> And now there's a leaf in his tea. Has anything good happened to this guy? I think we need to remind him that things can be alright. Well, he's got that to look forward to. It's a it's a mud ball. Is he gonna eat it? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna eat it. Oh, well, something went right for him. It's the little things in life. Is I wouldn't suggest it. Yeah. <laughs> Here, kid, you try it first. <laughs> Quite a bit of sweet, isn't it? <laughs> Did the kid kill him? <laughs> Trying to impress his grandson to get some last bit of happiness from his life, and uh, now he's dead. <laughs> I'm surely not, because I don't think Nishijo is that dark. Uh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> and he's trying to keep his composure. Trying ever so hard. Was the worker trying to get a rise? Or, um, no. He was, yeah, okay. I don't know why I think everyone in this show is trying to cause some kind of commotion. <laughs> The sun is trying to kill everyone. Don't go outside. Mate. That is a huge tub of super glue. Because <laughs> it's super. Is she pulling a prank? And she just explained her pr plan to Sakamoto. But she's going to fall in it, isn't she? Oh. You saw her doing it. Come on, Sakamoto, you know better than this. <laughs> I 
Is she purposefully trying to... Oh, you just... I called it. You're going to starve. <laughs> but she is as well, yeah. Did she already forget? Yep, she is. Did she just cover him in it? Um... He better be able to breathe under there. Yeah, the wriggling pile is probably the cat. Um... Oh, he's, he, he's died. <laughs> Nope, and it's all your fault. Also, she's not hungry now, but it's just time for a snack. Her thought process takes massive lumps, leaps of judgment. But yeah, Sakamoto is actually in danger. Don't take several steps forward. Uh, you just had it explained to you, and how did you not see the pile of glue? Well, that's one thing. She can just detach her limbs and get out that way. How exactly are they going to get out of this mess? But of course, leave it to the professor to just be laughing about it the entire time. Even though she's in obvious danger. Why did he have a, a blender presumably bought from that kid's company? Or his family's company? Uh, am I missing something here? Is that meant to be... Is that a reference to something? Is it a, like a leg folk legend thing again? That's the problem about with not being natively Japanese, not knowing in depth the uh, history and everything. I did like how the Dharma doll has still got the blacked out glasses. <laughs> nice continuity. No, Sakamoto. <laughs> well, yeah. There's no one else. Hmm. Well done? <laughs> Is it Sakamoto's turn now? Is the glue still... Oh, Christ. And we haven't seen that snowman in a while. Probably since he melted all those episodes ago. Okay. Nice peaceful respite. What? Mm. See, that's a quite quite an unfair question because it's down to personal interpretation. <laughs> Was 
So she can remember asking it, but doesn't remember the actual answer. Probably because she wasn't listening at that point. Rain? Well, she already answered monster and got it wrong last time, so... Uh... Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, that's a problem when you don't study or anything. And no way to replace replace the answer she wrote. That was an int intense reaction. This is a one-time mind not to be passive aggressive what did she end at <laughs> of course just move on answer some actual questions if you've stuck on the first one just wasting your time on it isn't gonna help There's a lot of that hand gesture appearing in this episode. And all she's done is meditate. Well done, you've failed again. And now your mother is going to kill you. Okay. Is the light going to change for the car or not? Hmm. Okay. You see, you've got to feel sorry for her. At least initially. But then you realise that a lot of it is brought on by her own actions. So... But it's always nice to see someone else's life fall apart <laughs> instead of your own, so... Although that might just be me, because uh, I'm an ass. Why didn't they cl clean up the glue after they were free? I mean, Sakamoto just having a nap, yeah, is fine. Professor, Professor running away, that would make sense as well. But you'd expect Nano to at least try and clear it away. Unless the professor poured it all out again. That's a possibility. <laughs> Although we did, uh, in this episode, we learned that the, the guy in the club, quote unquote, is actually quite well regarded and has quite high status. Basically because his family owns a, I'm guessing, multi-million uh, yen company. Okay. He didn't have straw to make the doll to put in the uh, principal's locker. So what's going to be in there now? <laughs> The, the birthday present. I... Oh, I wasn't expecting all of them to talk. <sighs> okay, I'll try not to. Just, um... Next time... I don't know. <laughs> it's quite hard to, uh converse with uh, a ball of mud and a steel ball. I, I just don't know where to go for 
a lot of this show. It is in the nicest way possible completely batshit. Um We aren't seeing a lot of some of the characters that were initially in it quite a lot. It might just be because the the little segues don't really revolve around them, so they're not that important. And this isn't really a plot-driven show as of yet, so that's fine. Although, you know, we do clearly have the main protagonist. <laughs> I don't know, she just gets fucked over quite a lot. I wouldn't cast her as a protagonist but who who knows um it's just fun um <laughs> i'm glad that nishi joe actually has so many episodes for a season so this would be going for a while we're probably about halfway through actually well just under halfway through and um It's just one of those shows where as long as you don't think about it, as long as you open your mind to just accepting the talking ball of mud, then you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine. Um, as long as you don't take it too seriously, because as soon as you start doing that, then the entire show falls apart, which it's good to be able to have that contrast between watching something like this and then moving on to something that's a bit more highbrow might be taking it too far um but yeah you've got to like Nisha Joe and uh by extension from what i hear its counterpart the uh i forgot what it's called you're going to lynch me now dan something Everyday Lives of High School Boys, or whatever it's called. The one that came quite close to winning the, uh... The, um... <laughs> the poll that was quite a while ago, if it wasn't for Kobayashi. So, we know what's going on after Nishijo because it's only fair. But, I have something quite... Quite plan. I've got something planned for, um, no game, no life's time slot already. So if you've made it this far into the video, I'm gonna not ex not spoil it, but it's kind of dark, kind of serious. I don't think anyone has mentioned it before, at least in the comments section, um, and. I don't know how well it's going to be received, but the trailer I saw for it and everything I've like the, the synopsis I read kind of interested me. So I'm going to do it and say fuck it if I get any bad backlash. <laughs> but you'll get to find out what that is in about four days. Because two, yep, four days. So look forward to that. And look forward to the next episode of Kobayashi-san, which is in two days. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, then leave me a like on the video. And uh, I'm sure I don't have to tell you by now to, you know, comment your fucking hearts out, because you guys pretty much do. Um, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you are new, subscribe. If you're returning, then well done. You guys are fucking awesome. Continue having a bloody wonderful day, and I, I've said it so many times now, I don't really want it to be an outro, but it kind of is, so see you fuckers some other time in the next one. Yeah.